Alright, what's up? Sunny Install, Instars.com. First time on the camera, you know, so we got this special interview. I'm here with uh, HBO's Trume on E.L. Vanison. What's good, man? Oh, not much. Just chilling. Just finished up season one. Getting ready for that season two to make it happen. Alright, so if y'all don't know, this is my brother right here. So, ladies. I can get the good looks from me. Nah, 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 but I can get the groupies, you feel me? So if you want him, just holler at me, bang. All right, anyway, man, so what's up? Tell us about your character on the show. I played as Ronnie, Memphis Ronnie. Uh, I, the, the Memphis come in because I evacuated from Hurricane Katrina. I went to Memphis, uh, come back home, and in the midst of coming back home, uh, I just played the character. I, my character was Ronnie Brian. Uh, somebody who wants to come back home make our tradition happen all over again. Uh, I was displaced from the Calio project. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. All right. So, um, how do you feel to me uh, covered New Orleans? Do you feel like it hit everything on point? Do you feel like they did their job? Oh, and you gotta answer basically to work with your basic answer right Well, I mean, what, you, what you see, what you get. If I thought by any chance they, they didn't cover it, I'll tell you so. But I think they, the writers did a hell of a job of, of covering of, of covering things that has never been seen in New Orleans. Uh, you know, little, little fine detail. A lot of people never knew about things that happened with, with suicide, like them killing off, off John Goodman. That that made everybody feel what actually happened. Had police officers killing themselves. People just couldn't handle just couldn't have handle moving on. Killing, this, killing themselves. You know, so I think things like that, they cover real good. Uh, they, they cover real good. As far as the music, everybody knows New Orleans. You can't, nobody can't compete with them as far as the music. As far as the Mardi Gras, it, they, they showed another side to New Orleans that nobody in the world has ever known about. And I was able to take part in that. All right, cool. All right, so uh, how the real life of your Vanison to Memphis Ronnie? Uh, are y'all like almost the same person or, or is it like a thought, a big difference in you know, character from yourself? For me that there was no there was nothing about that character that I had to act out. What 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 Memphis Ronnie has in common with Eddie Vanderson is Memphis Ronnie was this place. Eddie Vanderson was this place. Memphis Ronnie wanted to come back home. Eddie Vanderson wanted to come back home. Memphis Ronnie was a Mardi Gras Indian. And Vanessa was a Mardi Gras Indian. So basically, that was, I, I, my character was me. And I played, and all I did was put out what I actually went through doing, doing it after the storm. Alright, cool, cool. Well, speaking of Indians, man, we gonna have to, we gonna show us some of your work. So let's no show everybody, you know, some of your work. That's cool. Alright, let's take it down. Come back out from Mardi Gras and uh, go through his devastated hoods and all that, like on um, for St. Joe's night. Uh, what is it that uh, the Mardi Gras Indians do for New Orleans and the neighborhoods? You know. Uh, it, it, every, every Indian tribe, uh, they come from different neighborhoods throughout the city, throughout the city of New Orleans, and like, uh, and for me, I. My Indian tribe was going into the flame. Uh, and what it show is when we when we come out from our from our from our bar or whatever our, uh, our, our place that we come out from, whatever we come whenever we come out, what it is we parade through the back rooms of our of our neighborhoods. The reason why we do that is because if you go back if you go back Blacks could go out on St. Charles to the parade, St. Charles uh, Avenue to the parade. They weren't able to go to Canal Street. The Mardi Gras Indians in the same line, that was the parade for the blacks and the elderly who couldn't get out. So to this day, that's what we still do. We parade for our neighborhoods. And we still get, we, we parade, get back, and we show love to people who can't get out. We have a lot of people, that's what they've been doing for the last 30, 40 years. And all they know is the Mardi Gras Indians. Mardi Gras 
So them Mardi Gras is the Mardi is the end. You know, for some that go on St. Charles, the, the floats, the zoo, that's their parade for the other people that follow us. Mardi Gras is that's their parade. Alright, cool. So we seen also the uh the feathers, you know, basically how the costume come out. Uh, can you give us a rundown on how you know the costumes are made, or like is it hand sewn and everything? Uh, everything, everything is hand stitched. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just sketching up a, a, a piece that uh, starts, starts off on canvas, finish. Some people they have they have their own artists, some people draw for themselves. And right here what I'm what I'm drawing the piece is uh my my position is the game play. I'm like that I'm like that soldier when you see the army, uh you see those guys in basic training and you have that one guy in front of the platoon that he's holding the flag, that's my position. Right here, that's my flag. And what I'm doing here drawing a picture of a flag stuck in the grass uh, in the mountains. And pretty much is what I would do is I, I, I hand beat it. Uh, all of the beads are uh, individual beads. It does not come on a string or a rope. So individual beads. It's all one by one. That's this is the finish, this is the finish product. Once we finish with the beat, that's not the end of our sewing. What we do is right here, we have to patch that beat. Once we finish with that, then we sew rhinestone. Rhinestone, that's a dead, that's, that's a dead good finish to it. Uh, give it a little um, some spotlight, some shine. Uh, and then it can take it, it can take it away from it. Uh, from the day after Mardi Gras to the day before Mardi Gras, for most people. Cool, so that's like a whole year of work. All right. So, uh, like, how would you come? How do you come up with the the theme of your suits? Uh, I'm just fabulous. Just, just great. I don't know. It's just yeah. great. Yeah. Thank you. So, Sunny. Inks. Something like that. All right. You know, when you when you just great, you just great. Uh, this theme. We got like this theme here. Uh, I'm gonna catch you. Uh, right here, some people probably wonder what this guy doing on the, the dreadlocks on top of the on top of the ladder, putting up the American peace flag, but I'm the African peace flag. But uh, the name, the name, all everything that I do is a story. And this is my story it's called the Dream. And the reason why I call it the Dream is because I basically, I basically uh, call it the King's Dream. Uh, right here. Alright y'all, once again, here with E.L. Uh, Vanison of Treme, HBO's Treme. So man, where can everybody find you online? Uh oh, you can catch me on Facebook at E.L. Vanison slash Memphis Rani. And they can check into the Facebook, I have a uh, website that's up and coming. And they can also, any information that's up and coming, they can also check, on, check it out at info. Alright, cool. HBO, if you need me, holler at me. I got my script already out. Uh, sunny, and stuff.